Hello everyone, this is Spaceless and welcome back to your new video. In this video, I am going to be telling you about RaySat. RaySat or the Weapons Research Establishment Satellite was the first Australian satellite and was named after its manufacturer, the Australian Weapons Research Establishment. It was launched on November 29, 1967 using a modified American Redstone rocket with two upper stages known as a Sparta from the Boomera Test Range in South Australia. The Sparta was left over from the joint Australian-US-UK Sparta program and was donated by the US. This launch made Australia the seventh nation to have an Earth satellite launched and the third nation to launch one from its own territory after the Soviet Union and the United States. UK's Ariel 1, Italy's San Marco 1 and Canada's Alouette 1 were all launched before Raysat but they were launched on American rockets and the French Asterix was launched on an indigenous rocket but out of Algeria. And if you want to watch any of these videos, I'll link a playlist up in the corner, you can watch that if you want to. The battery powered 45 kg Raysat carried four experiments which were derived from the experiments flown on early Australian sounding rockets and they were Solar UV experiments from 1050 angstrom to 1660 angstroms, solar UV experiment at 2500 angstrom, a geocoronal hydrogen Lyman alpha experiment, a solar X ray experiment at 8 angstrom. The sensors were predominantly for upper atmospheric research. There were sensors to measure solar radiation, specifically three wavelengths, which had the greatest impact on the temperature and composition of the upper atmosphere. The same sensors could also measure the temperature of the solar atmosphere and the density of molecular oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. Additionally, there was a small telescope with a lithium fluoride lens which could measure a faint halo that surrounds the Earth at night. The halo is called Geocorona. The Geocorona is a luminous part of the outermost region of the Earth's atmosphere, the exosphere. It is seen primarily via far UV light from the Sun that is scattered from neutral hydrogen. It extends to at least 15.5 Earth radii and probably up to 100 Earth radii. Raysat weighed 45 kg and had a form of a cone with a length of 1.59 meters and a mount diameter of 0.76 meters. It remained connected with the third stage for the simplicity of design and hence had an overall length of 2.17 meters. Raysat circled the Earth on a nearly polar course until it re-entered the atmosphere after 642 revolutions on 10th January 1968 over the Atlantic Ocean. The battery-operated satellite sent the last data during its first 73 orbits of the Earth.